champagne of comedy. Everybody. Thank you. What's up, Steve? How you doing? Good to see you, Neil, Roy, Jazz. Pleasure to see you, gentlemen. Great to see you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Did, uh, did you get Marty back this time? Back to meet his parents at the Enchantment on the scene. Can you stand up and show everybody? How about for Doc Brown, everybody? <laughs> As you guys know, California, very, very progressive, very progressive state, and sometimes you get away with things due to the progressive nature of Los Angeles, for example, or, or California in general. I was driving along Sunset, a cop pulled me over, he said, sir, why did you run that red light? I said, officer, it's 2023, I don't see color. I saw a very sweet thing the other day. I was downtown Los Angeles, crowded bus around noon. I saw this really sweet moment in humanity, right? You'd only see this in California. I saw an elderly woman, elderly woman, get up from her seat on the bus, pack bus, and give it to a pregnant man. <laughs> Thank you, Jess. I think we all can believe you were taking the bus. I saw you on roller skates and boy shorts going like this. What does that mean? <laughs> well, Cal, as you know, downtown Los Angeles is pretty, it's like a ghost town lately. There's nobody there, the business has left. It's pretty quiet down there. I, I was down there to visit Gary. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's so quiet downtown. It is so quiet. Well, it's, it's so quiet downtown Los Angeles. The only time you hear anything is when Guatemala scores a goal. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank the white guys for enjoying that joke. And none of the Mexicans. None of the Mexicans. Uh, well, I love Southern California as much as I do love it. Uh, I will say I recently moved because I, I hit a tipping point. My daughter asked me for help with her math homework recently, and they're changing math in the state of California. I'm sure some of you parents know. I'll never forget the question. The question was, if you divide the number of genders by bathrooms you could use, how much climate change do you get? <laughs> how do I... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, I, I, was, uh, I was visiting my old neighbor the other day, and I, I, uh, I said, hey, how you doing? You know what my neighbor told me? Hey, we're having a baby. I said, that's great. Is it a boy or a girl? You know what they told me? We're going to let the kindergarten teacher decide that, so. Yeah. 
I want to thank this half of the room for coming out to a comedy show tonight. I appreciate it. It's for you guys. Well, Governor Gavin Newsom. What's that? I feel the love. Oh, yeah. You guys might enjoy this one. Governor Gavin Newsom recently told... Jesus. Guys, he's not here. <laughs> um, fresh from Supercuts, Gavin Newsom... Recently told Walgreens that Walgreens is no longer welcome in the state of California, so Californians will now have to shoplift at Rite Aid. <laughs> Good one, boss. We're only a few miles away from Disney, and Disney uh, in the news quite a bit. Disney said they want more ethnic diversity in their programming. So for uh, example, uh, Tinkerbell is getting a plus-size cousin named Taco Bell. <laughs> Can you do a, like, a little bit of salsa? Gary, I'd love to see your salsa. Hit me one more time, gentlemen. Here we go, bang. tell you guys something? Stay seated, everybody. Stay seated, that was please. Terrible. That was terrible. It's just horrible dancing. Horrible. Well, Neil, I'll tell you, the last time Gary did that dance, uh, about a week later, um, police officers showed a doll to a boy and said, show us, Jimmy, where Gary touched you. Um, that was the last time I saw that dance. And Jimmy showed him. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Here's a good boy. <laughs> Please welcome the Kevin Spacey of comedy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Gary Cannon. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, and I gotta give a little mojo here. Uh, guys, I took my car to the mechanic the other day. I asked him for some transmission fluid. He gave me a case of Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> you know, a lot of people pissed off at Bud Light, right, Neil? Yes, uh, uh, Kid Rock is shooting up Bud Light in his backyard. And I'll tell you, I don't know why. Bud Light's always been trans. It's water that identifies as beer. But uh, Dylan Mulvaney, the face of Bud Light for a moment, uh, a reporter recently asked Dylan, Dylan, how do you prefer your Bud Light? Dylan responded, I hate it in the bottle, I love it in the can. <laughs> yeah. It's butt sex. Yeah. It's anal. It's in your butt. Yeah, it's in your butt, hit me. It's in your butt. It's in your butt. It's in your butt. That's a bass drum in your, in your asshole. There we go. Good. Steve, those guys were high-fiving on that one right there. <laughs> it was so weird. I heard them whisper to each other as they high-fived, that's so us. I'm like, what, is that? what does that mean? Where's Johnny? <laughs> Uh, Dylan Mulvaney, also the face of Nike Sports, uh, selling sports bras. Nike was recently asked, how are sales? Nike responded, flat. Uh, Dylan Mulvaney, today, I don't know if you guys saw this in the news, filed suit against Google Maps because Google Maps told Dylan to go straight. Guys, I gotta tell you, it is so good to be here in Texas tonight. 